Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar daily. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the wings, under the shadow of the Almighty. In life, you are either in secret place or you are in the secret court. No neutral ground. You are either in God's kingdom or in the other kingdom. Everyone should have a devotional life, secret place, an altar of communion with God as soon as you wake up daily. When we say altar, we are not referring to a shrine where they put some images, red and black cloth or calabash or pearl libation. No, no, no. It could be just on your bed or beside your bed on your chair, your living room, your sitting room with your family or alone, or if you have a place separated for quietness before God in prayer, that is the meaning of altar in this context. Do your early morning quiet time, listening to Turning Point Audio. Receive the prayers, ideally pray for you, and engage in whatever faith prophetic action the Holy Spirit of God may lead us to take for the day. Then pray more on your own, either in the spirit or in your understanding. Also, do a short Bible study, from our daily devotional prayer booklet, read the day's portion, pray the day's prayer, and follow the guideline on reading the entire Bible through systematically in a year. Subscribe online for the prayer booklet content to be sent to your phone for daily engagement. For subscription and subscription renewal, send a chat to Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so today right away. Welcome also to Tuesday, day two in April 2024. Open your hand and heart to receive today's prayers and be responding with Amen. I receive it. This new month shall open for you on time. This second quarter of the year will deliver only on you. Difficult or tough issues or assignment shall become simple and easy to handle. Every month has an angel. I prophesy. The angel of the fourth month shall go all out an assignment for you and your family. I have an urge in my spirit today to pray for one, those that have not seen or experienced any significant change or changes since the year began. Nothing to show. Nothing has changed. No increase, no opening, nothing to testify about. On your expectation list, none has happened exactly. That's the first group I want to pray for. Number two group, those that have started a new thing, but there are challenges. It is not growing as you envisage. Number three, those that are seeing some positive changes, but you desire more rapid progress, a higher momentum. If uh, you or any of your loved ones belong to any of the three, open your hand. I have an anointing to pray for you today. I prophesy a turnaround. You must start seeing your desired changes. Things must start turning around for you in your favor. Receive divine intervention. Those experiencing challenges, God takes the battle off your hand from today. Your dream and expectation this year shall be fulfilled. And those already seeing some results, I prophesy an accelerated, bigger result. Go higher. Move further. See greater help. Your helpers will locate you on time. That enterprise, that platform, that network, career, journey, ministry, or investment shall grow. You shall succeed maximally in Jesus' name. Say amen, amen, and amen. Now remember what I have taught us here from the word of God, that from the onset of your business, put your outfit on tightening. Let the business, ministry, or whatever be faithfully tightened. From the onset and from the next profit, it protects the business from devourers. It sends helpers and give you new ideas to turn the business around from time to time. I cannot compel or force anyone to do these things I'm saying, but I have a responsibility and a duty under God to teach the whole truth. I don't want you to be poor. Please comply with these teachings. April 2 celebrants, your body prayers. Be saying amen. Your bad day is blessed. Your new age is blessed also. You shall mark April 2 yearly 
in good health, joy, and super abundance. God will send many to bless you for your birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. Listeners, welcome to the second day of our Healing Prayers Week. It is not God's plan that any of his own be sick. There is healing through the name of Jesus and through the blood of Jesus. Though they are through the word of God and the word of knowledge that we daily speak here. If I call issues that affect you or relate to you or your loved ones, receive the healing prayers by faith and immediately start acting out your faith by doing what you couldn't do before. If your own faith agrees with mine, healing will take place. Ready? Sensation. Sensation. Someone is having some discomforting sensation, burning sensation. Your body is burning. It's like the pop pepper on you. Strange movement in your body. Some sense, strange movement moving around your body, maybe even around your head area. And uh, your tummy also, that's a strange movement. Your healing time has come. Knee cap, the cap pain. You cannot kneel down. You can't even bend it properly. The pain somewhere, very difficult. After this prayer, that pain will go. You'll be able to bend and even kneel down properly. Broken bones. Someone suffered bone injury. Sometimes ago, go. Then injury from accident. Someone with accident injury. So painful. If I say someone, it could be, they could be in hundreds, even in thousands. Pie, acute pie. Cannot use toilet easily to defecate. It's so difficult. You too shall be healed. Tremor. Your hand, your leg, or your head is shaking involuntarily. They call it Parkinson or tremor. You tied an anointed mantle around that part of your body, and your healing will be established. Stiff neck. Oh, yes. Neck issue. You can't turn your head without serious pain. After prayers, anoint your neck. Tie your mantle to sleep. A few days, that pain will vanish. All cases mentioned, I want to pray. Be healed. I say be healed. In fact, you are healed. Everything that the Father did not plan shall be uprooted. Therefore, every form of sicknesses and diseases, you are uprooted. Leave your victim alone now in the name of Jesus. Say amen. Every issue mentioned, be healed. Yes, check it up. Check it up. You are healed. Begin to see breathing problem. Who is this with breathing problem? You cannot breathe properly or normally. After this prayer, you will start breathing. You will breathe in and breathe out three times. That will be the end of that problem. You will start breathing normally. Poor digestion. You eat, but no proper digestion. So you feel bloated, releasing gas all the time. Poor memory, bad memory. You forget things so easily. Dementia. Someone is suffering from dementia. Lay hand on your head. Or help him lay hand. Poor memory and dementia will go. Numbness. A part of your body is numb. Maybe the sole of your feet towards the heel part of your body is numb. All numbness will go. Anoint the place after this prayer. Hearing problem. You have hearing challenge. You are not hearing well. Or it is with one ear. Another person, even the two ears. Put your fingers in your ears. And if you are close to the victim, explain to them or help them insert your fingers or their fingers in the air. Someone is hearing this and is on sick bed. If you are hearing me on sick bed or in the hospital or at home, if your case is mentioned, I want to pray. Receive your healing. Lay hand in that part of your body. If hand can be laid, lay your mantle or touch your forehead. There is healing stream. Flowing now. May it flow to you. Receive healing where you have aches and pains. We just celebrated Easter. Jesus suffered and died that we may not suffer sicknesses and pains anymore. I say again, be healed. Everyone whose cases have been mentioned, you are healed. All demonically instigated illnesses, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, leave your victims now. Everyone in pain, be healed in Jesus' name. 
pay no more. You are totally delivered. Shake your body. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Check it out. You are healed. Let's have your testimonies later. Forward this prayer to all on your contact. Let them listen to the prayers. Exercise their faith. They too will be healed. They will give you testimony. Now, tomorrow is the prayer mountain service in Abuja Center. Usual place, usual venue. Living Spring Chapel, Kadola Khan. Uh, after the fish market in Abuja, time is 12 to 2 p.m. Telephone numbers to engage for more information and direction 0806-133-2800. Start calling, chatting, or SMS now. Thursday is the prayer mountain in Ikeja, Lagos, Dominion City, Ibado, Koloba Abekuta, Oshogbo, Akure, Uyo, and Port Accord simultaneously in two services. 7 to 9 a.m. for service, 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. second service. Prayer focus on prayer mountain this week, including Abuja tomorrow and the other places on Thursday, is turn my water into wine. The miracle of Canaan of Galilee shall be repeated and replicated in many lives and families. Everyone coming, bring bottles of water and non-alcoholic juice, non-alcoholic drink, any red drink that is non-alcoholic. Even Zobo is a good one to bring. We are using water and red drink as prophetic representation. Turn my water into wine. Turn bitter into sweetness. Turn my frustration into celebration. Turn my life around. Please do so. Now, uh, then invite others. This is our month of 444, the fourth month of the year. The special seed this month is called seed 4444. Uh, balance and stability. Oh, you can add or so 444,000, 444 naira, 4400, uh, 44 naira, 44,000, 444 naira, 44 kobo, 100,000, 444 naira, 44 kobo, 50,000, 20,000, 5,000, 444 naira, 44 kobo, or 4,000, 444 naira, 44 kobo. All in diaspora, do your own 4442 according to the currency in your country. Use the paper. Paper will convert whatever that currency is for the kingdom. You can also use your local bank account in Nigeria. If you are a monthly tighter, personal, and corporate tightening, battle, thanksgiving, partnership commitment, and vows, do so. Tightening, giving, and sowing are covenant work we will have with God as long as we live. TPGF is a fertile soil to sow your time and the other seed. TPGF, all members abroad, use the paper, as I have said, make sure you don't default, because God will not default to, uh, concerning you. I prophesy greater grace on your life. What God cannot do does not exist, for God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great month.